Hey everybody, today we're here to talk about what kind of fall email marketing messages you can think about sending. Next, we're gonna talk through some preliminary planning you can do for Black Friday and the holiday season. Yes, it is time for you to start thinking about that. Then we're gonna talk through Halloween messages. I highly encourage you to think through this. There's a couple different ways you could pull it off and they're a lot of fun. And then finally, for the tip of the month, we are going to talk through building out a campaign. What is a campaign? How does it look within Saguno? And what you need to do to set those up successfully. I'm Kestrel Lemon, your senior strategist over here at Saguno. And today we are talking about your October monthly planning. Let's talk about the fall season. So the fall season is just another change in season. And oftentimes with the change of season, it means that you're gonna be launching a new product. So for a new product announcement, I wanted to show you this great example from Everlane. Now, when you take a first look at this, what's the first thing you see? First thing you see is made from plastic bottles. Now, this has become more and more popular. We're seeing more products being made from plastic bottles and it's a representation of how a lot of brands are trying to feed into sustainability and users are loving it. So it's no wonder that that is the biggest thing that we see from this new product example. Now, what I love is what Everlane did was they know that the unique sales proposition of this jacket is that it's made from plastic bottles. So they made that the largest part of this message and then they go into detail about the jacket. This means that they understand what their consumer wants, what their niche is looking for, and they present it to them right away. And that's what I want you to do the next time you announce a new product as well. Another great message that I'm seeing here is from Allbirds. This is a weather related message. If you've seen me before talk about weather related messages, you know I love them. I like them because everyone experiences weather. So as we go further into the fall season, start to think about how you can present new products, new style guides, or think about how you can feed into weather related messages because those are all going to be really relevant for fall messaging. It's time to prep for the holiday season. We are officially there. Early shoppers are starting to buy things sooner and sooner every year, and this year will be no different. So it is time to start sending a little bit more frequently. Now, hold on, hold on. I don't mean that it's time to send like five times more than you normally do, because whoa, that's crazy town. But what I do mean is that it's time for you to start increasing your frequency a little bit. So if you normally do once every two weeks, maybe start Start to move to a once a week type schedule. If you're doing a once a week type schedule, maybe throw in an additional message every now and again, especially if it's around gifting or products that would be great for gifts. It's also a really great time to make sure your list growth and your automations are locked in, folks. So let's say you've been meaning to revamp that pop-up, now's a great time to do it because you're about to get more traffic than you normally do and we wanna make sure you're grabbing all that list growth and you're probably gonna get more purchases than you normally do. So we wanna make sure all those automations are firing too because we wanna make sure we're getting those repeat purchases. If you want more information on what you need to be doing, check out our holiday hub, saguno.com slash holiday hub. We have got a great Black Friday course. We have got great lookbooks for you to take a look at. We've got webinars. We even have a blog post all around subject lines that you can just copy and paste from. Go take a look at the holiday hub. It's a great resource for you this holiday season. It's October. What does that mean? Spooktacular messaging. You like that? Spooktacular. I love Halloween. I always have. I'm sure we can pull up some crazy photos of some of the Halloween costumes I've come up with in the past. But Halloween is an awesome time of year. But let's say maybe you're not super into Halloween. And I want to say that I, I get it. I get that maybe your brand you don't think goes along with Halloween. Well, guess what? Your customers are experiencing Halloween. And so if you want to do something that aligns with with what your customers are going through, then it might be a good idea for you to throw out a Halloween message. Now take a look at this example from Warby Parker. What I love about this example is that they're taking all the great branding and vibe that Warby Parker normally has and they're combining it with Halloween in a modern cool take. They're showing off that Warby Parker has quality products and that's what you want in your Halloween candy and from Warby Parker. I think it's really cute. So if you wanted more of an alternative modern take on Halloween, Think about something like this from Warby Parker. Now, the next one I want to show you, this is a little bit more traditional. This is from Emma Bridgewater. Now, Emma Bridgewater has specific products 
for Halloween that she's showing off here. Now, if you're like Emma Bridgewater and you have products for Halloween, you may want to consider doing, may want to consider, you might want to consider doing a Halloween campaign. That simply means that you have multiple messages that all look very similar. They look related, like they could be brothers and sisters. And it goes along with the same general theme of those Halloween products. We can see that here in Emma Bridgewater's example. It's very fun. They tie into the colors and the aesthetics of the product. This type of continuity and consistency builds brand reputation and trust with the consumers and people buy from brands they trust. So no matter how you slice it with Halloween, you could go with a more modern perspective or you could go with something that's very spooktacular. Halloween is a fun type of messaging that you can get into, especially if it's a chance for you to relate to your audience. Let's say you're really busy. Maybe you've got a lot on your plate. You're doing a lot of site planning. I get it. Head on over to the template store and you can scoop up some great fall messaging or Halloween messaging right away from the template store. Easy peasy, done, lemon squeezy. Time for the tip of the month this October. This October, the tip of the month is setting up a campaign. First, I wanna explain what a campaign is. It is simply a series of messages that are linked with a common goal. They're all going to look similar as if they're related, brothers and sisters, and they go out in sequential order. Now, this could be over the course of a long weekend. It could be over the course of the month. It could be four messages. It could be 12 messages. If you go into Saguno, you'll see that there there are several campaign templates you can choose from. By default, these have four messages. After you choose your campaign, it's really more of a fill in the blank exercise from there. You'll be given the four different messages and then you fill in the lifestyle shots and the product shots that you want put into those messages. We literally lay out where you should put what, so it's very simple for you to fill in. Then you go in and pick out the timing of the messages. To find campaigns, just go to newsletters and then campaigns within Saguno. All right, that's all I have. Like, subscribe. We'd love to see any questions, comments that you have in the comment section. Leave them there for me. I'll definitely get back to them.